been here six months yet. We started uh, walking Scrappy out here in early November. What started as a normal walk through Jacobson Park in Lexington, Kentucky would soon alter Cliff Jaggy, Liz Otto, and their Beagle Scrappy's lives forever. We went to the Pine Forest first and then we started seeing garbage and I said, God, I wish I had a garbage bag with us. And I always have some in the car, so, so, so I said, okay, next time we come, we'll just start carrying one, um, and we did. One garbage bag soon multiplied as the couple realized litter was not limited to the pine forest. It was hidden among vegetation, scattered along the lake shore, and even in the trees. Cliff and Liz knew they could not leave the park in such a state. I kind of set a goal back in. January or February and said, I think we can make bag 100 before April 22nd. <laughs> With that goal in mind, Cliff, Liz, and Scrappy visited Jacobson Park at least once a week, armed with gloves, a picker, and trash bags. Each trip produced at least one bag filled with 10 to 20 pounds of trash. To help raise awareness of the pollution problem in Jacobson Park, Cliff began posting photos of their litter collection journey on the Lexington Park Photographer's Facebook page, where he was soon met with backlash. They thought we were insinuating that the park employees weren't doing their job, and that's not what we were doing. It's not that the park employees don't take care of it, it's just that they only have four employees for, for this park and 14 other parks that they take care of. Well, they're spread pretty thin, so uh, we thought, okay, we'll just start helping and that's what we've been doing. Once people learned the couple's intentions behind the photos, the backlash eased. Not long after the backlash, a wildlife photographer named Katie Buster learned of their efforts. I took a photo, it was a fun photo, it was just you at that point, and I posted it on Lexington Parks Photographers Facebook page. Katie's photo of Cliff inspired concerned park goers to create a Friends of Jacobson Park group. Soon, Jacobson Park's first Earth Day cleanup event was being planned. Cliff and Liz would not learn about the change they sparked until a chance meeting with one of the event's organizers. However, even after learning of the large cleanup, the couple continued working towards their 100 bag goal. By Earth Day, they had collected 138 bags. On Earth Day, nearly 200 volunteers flocked to the park. Their impact spoke for itself. Yeah! Yay! <laughs> Looks best to scramble eggs.